How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be uh, doing unboxing for the Samsung Chromebook. Uh, so this is the laptop that's been advertised for $249. And there's even an a, a Acer model that goes for $199. So kind of want to show you the Chromebook. You know, the question is, is it worth it? You know, we're going to do our review, our pros and cons, and we'll give you the... This, worth it or a waste it kind of lets you guys know because they've been advertising this thing everywhere you've been seeing it and um i'm trying to figure out you know is this better to get than a laptop we shall see let's go ahead and unbox it first we can show you what it comes with and give you a general look of it okay let's open it up here okay so we have a little manual here, kind of a quick start guide. We'll go through that in a second. And we have our power cord. There we go. So the laptop don't come with power, something's wrong. Okay. That's all for that. And here it is. This thing is small. All right. So here we go. This is it. So this one, I believe it has either 16 or 32 gigs of internal memory, which is not much. The Acer model has a lot more. It actually comes with like a 500 gig hard drive it's like 500 or 200 which is surprising because this one is more this one's actually 249 that one is 199 but it comes with more storage so really trying to see what makes this one more expensive and is this one worth it or is it better to get the one with more storage I just want to show you I have a pin here you kind of get an idea of how thin it is okay so it's a little bit thicker than my pin this thing is nice Let's go over the exterior for you. Uh, we have our headphone jack slash mic jack. We have a, a SD card slot right here. So you can download your pictures. And that is it. No optical drive, so no drive for CDs. Um, in the back here we have USB 3.0, oh, excuse me, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, HDMI out, which is always lovely. Um, uh, power cord goes here and then we have another slot right here which is a micro that's pretty cool so it actually has a uh, micro SD and an SD slot which is rare normally you don't see both and uh, let's open it up okay nice chiclet style keyboard this is very similar to what you'll see on a Mac which I love because that means that for typing this is going to be great I can already see right off the bat without even using it uh, let's go ahead and um, power it on here usually they come with a little bit of power so hopefully um, you have to hold down or maybe the battery is dead Fortunately, all computers don't come powered out of the box. So um, we'll actually leave it right there. Um, but could I see a lot of videos on this on this guy? I'm gonna um, give you a full walkthrough of it. We're gonna do a, a for beginners video because, as you know, or some you may not know, it does not run Windows. It actually runs uh, Chrome's operating system, which is different. So. It doesn't, like the controls are not going to be the same as you see on a standard PC. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I know a lot of people saw it and said, oh, laptop for 200 bucks. Uh, yes, it is, but it doesn't run the, the operating system that you're normally used to running, which is Windows. So all that is to be kept in mind. Uh, I'm actually, let me go ahead and plug it up just so I can show you what the initial screen is going to look like when you plug it in. Okay, we are plugged in with power, and then again the slot is on the back. So I'll flip 
flip this over like that and then we'll plug it right here okay now we have a light on right there and it actually just pops right on it didn't even it didn't even need us to, to hit power so that's cool all right now so here's a actual view of the monitor so you're actually getting a better angle here and uh, this is kind of where we would start doing the uh, setup and just asking for your basic information. So well, there will be a video on how to set up a Chromebook and, and look out again. We're going to do a full walkthrough on this so you can really have a good overview. And you can make a decision, is this something that's going to be worth it to buy or is it better to go with the traditional PC? Alright, hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Um, Make sure to subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and check out our new website, which is www.h2techvideos.com. We have that website up for a while, but we just revamped it. It looks a lot better. We have it's more interactive. You can find a lot more uh, tutorials, and we even have a new product guide we're releasing, which is uh, six tips on how H2 Tech Videos, how we grew our YouTube site to be as big as it is. So uh, check that out as well. And uh, thanks for watching, and have a good one.